Hello and welcome to the Blue Dot Podcast. Hello and welcome back to episode two of the Blue Dot Podcast. Today we are going to be talking about healthy eating, healthy bodies and healthy minds. So our first topic is healthy eating and we're going to be talking about five a day and what we think that our opinions on five a day. Personally, I think like when you're younger, you get in your five days, like when you're at school, yeah, you get it at playtime, yeah. don't you? So it's more encouraged at your younger age. Mm. Yeah, whereas like now, like we'll probably have like like one vegetable on our like tea and then <laughs> that's it. The more independent you come, the more lack of throat and stuff you have. Yeah. Because you, when, when you're younger, you used to get your meals and stuff for you and everything you prepared and yeah. lunches are prepared. Yeah. So you used to eat what you get given. But when you get older, you chew what you eat and then you kind of slack a bit. Yeah. You go to more towards like junk food and things that are not very good for you. But yeah. yeah, like you'd rather have a takeaway than an apple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, no. I'd rather have an apple than takeaway, but I can't be bothered preparing what? the apple. It's like mango no, because everyone loves pineapple. I, no, preparing the apple for what? For eating, for my consumption. You put it in your mouth and it's Do gone. you chop it yeah, up? But like, I usually take the skin off because I have choking hazards. Because I'm a five year old. <laughs> <laughs> you choke on the skin. <laughs> I choke on the skin of the apple. I choke on the skin on anything. Like the banana little piff thing. Oh, the little bits, yeah. the little white things that peel off the arm of But anyway, like, what a cheat is five a day? Because I don't know. Well, it didn't let change. It was seven a day. Um, yeah. That's too many. That's and, but people don't even reach five a day, so I don't get that. <laughs> <laughs> mm. No, five a day is literally like anything, anything vegetable or fruit wise. Mm-hmm. But like people I think, think it. it's four hundred grams, I think, a minimum of fruit yeah, so, and veg. Because. You can get you can get strawberries and stuff and grapes, but you have to have like a handful for it to be classed as one. Yeah. So people think they're eating loads, but actually they're only having one portion, like one one of the five yeah. a day. Yeah. So I think that's where people lack a bit because they think they're eating loads, but they're mm. only having one portion. Because I know when I have grapes, I could eat like nearly full. <laughs> when I do eat grapes, don't I eat grapes very often. But when I do, yeah. I could eat things and it only classes like two of my fruits. Yeah. Mm. I'm like, well, I just eat the full bloody packet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, those packets ain't cheap. They're like three quid for yeah. the packet. I think the only time I ever hit my five a day is when I make a smoothie in the morning. Oh, and so I try and go, like, I try and put as much fruit in as I can. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's I, I think that's the key. You want to try and find the ways to get it in. So, yeah. like, by yeah. blend it into the food you have, like, obviously lunches. If you make sure you put at least one fruit on your lunch. And then dinners, you can try and get a bit of veg, as much veg as you can in your yeah. dinner. And breakfast, like you can have a healthy option, a healthy option for a breakfast. You can have a bowl, bowl of fruit, or you can have wheat bix with fruit on top, yogurt and stuff like that. Yeah. Generally, I enjoy eating, so it's not really an issue for me. I go downstairs and I have like my orange. I move on to the kiwi. I might have a banana before that. So like, I'm banging it out to be honest. Just like. <laughs> Everything I see when I go into my kitchen in the morning, I'm like, I'm gonna have that right now. Yeah. So um, I like kiwi. So that's just how I am. Oh yeah. I love. I like it though. It's worth the risk. <laughs> see, I'm <laughs> the opposite. The you know, when when you have to, when you get told you have to do something, I don't like doing it. No. Very so true. when people say this is what you need to be healthy and stuff like that, and I'm like, well, no, there's other ways. So I don't want to do that. So yeah. Yeah. I, I avoid doing what people tell me to do. Like obviously not all the time, but. <laughs> Do, do, do you get me? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah I don't like following people's rules because that's the way it should be. There should be different ways. There shouldn't just be one way to get it in. Mm. Do you know what? It can be. You can like eat a lot of sugar from eat, eating. Yeah, food. there's yeah, there's yeah. a lot of sugar. Yeah, so it's not always healthy. That's why mm. you have to have a mix of it, a range of different stuff. Definitely. What like, like what do you actually think you have five a day like in a normal day? Because I think I have nothing. I can't lie. (laughs) (laughs) For me, when I have, like, I'll have a smoothie, like, every other morning with my little sister, so I'll I'll put in, like, I try and follow the Boost recipes. Oh, yeah. Because they just, their smooths are beautiful. (laughs) So I always have the one called fruit salad, so it's literally a mango, apple, strawberries, raspberries. So that's five of them already. 
and then I have like orange juice and pineapple juice in it. So it's like a mix of like all your different fruits. Yeah, yeah I think that is quite a good way to get it in there. Yeah. What and do you? Me, I don't. <laughs> 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 I, I think that's, I think that's, a, I don't, I'm not as independent as I used to be, so. Mm. Um, my mum does a lot of the cooking and stuff now. Yeah. And so she tries to hide fruit and veg into and stuff because I'm very picky. Mm -hmm. I'm, I don't like those things. And if I have vegetables in my food, it has to be grated or chopped really small to the point where I can't see it or I just won't eat it. Yeah. So I, because of how great, small things are getting grated, I don't think I have very much because mm -hmm. it must be like at least like half of each stuff that yeah. so I won't get as much as I would if I, if bigger portions. So I don't think I have that much, to be fair. I'd, I'd say maximum I had about two a day. <laughs> <laughs> if that. Today, I had a bit of spinach. It was on a meal deal sandwich, though. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. It was like a leaf. A um, leaf. I had one leaf of spinach today. <laughs> oh, healthy <laughs> eating. <laughs> like, <laughs> I think, yeah, I know I don't have it. Mm. It's something I need to focus on. Do you know what? I think I get it in here. Yeah. That's only because I literally just eat so much <laughs> every day, like, <laughs> literally. I probably might even have too much, so, yeah. Do you think you hit that seven a day? I think I've like, already hit it, to be honest. Oh, I know. Um, go on, hey, dude. I know. <laughs> no, but I think it's good, though, because it's not even, what, it's midday, well. What's the five a day meant to do? Like, just boost your lifespan? Do you know, I think fact? it's, I think it is just, like, to make you be healthy. <laughs> <laughs> but what is healthy? So <laughs> the World Health Organization recommends eating a minimum of 400 grams of fruit and vegetables. Um, it lowers the risk of serious health problems such as heart disease, stroke, and some types of cancer. Oh my God, the five so days is coming. <laughs> <laughs> it does have an impact, so. Mm. I but guess I think, that's why they push for it so um, much. I think there's things about balanced diet because yeah. with your different like what are they all different sections of your plate mm -hmm. should be different so you could have some fruit some protein some fat and i think that's what all matters and that's that's a healthy diet not yeah. just to have just fruit because that can become unhealthy but to have a mixture of everything because it all comes together as mm -hmm. a healthy diet that's why it's important to still have some fat sometimes, also like takeaways every now and then, just to get that fat in if you're just eating fruit. Otherwise, you, it's not, the fruit will then become unhealthy in your body if you're just eating fruit or veg or whatever. Mm. Mm. I feel so good when eating fruit. It's because it's so sweet. Have you ever had frozen grapes? Yeah. Mm. That is literally sweet. Like, <laughs> frozen grapes, they just hit different. Should we, should we move on to the next one? Should we power walk the next subject? <laughs> Um, what is the next subject? Impact uh, exercise can have on a health, on mental health. Oh, ooh. I so, do the bare minimum. Impact <laughs> Exercise can help quite a lot because when you go, it, it releases endorphins and stuff like that in your brain. So it gives you, it, and it's a clear, it clears your mind. Mm. And uh, it's obviously healthy as well to, for your healthy body because it keeps you active. And um, when if you eat too much, you can burn some calories sometimes. And yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know what else. Mm, you know what? Walking out, I'm a fan of walking. Yeah. But I don't do that as much now. I used to really be banging out like late 2019, early 2020. But as soon as that lockdown came, and I just became housebound. <laughs> See, I was so upset. Um, Soon as lockdown came, I found myself going out on a walk like every single morning. Mm -hmm. And then after my walk, it'd be like an hour's walk. After that, I could get so much done in a day because I felt so refreshed and I felt so much like happier within myself to like mm -hmm. then proceed to doing other like activities. So like mm -hmm. whether it would just I don't know, doing like catching up on a bit of college work or helping my mum clean the house. It it was just making me feel much more 
like productive. Mm -hmm. Whereas now, since like everything's reopened, I don't do much walking at all. Mm -hmm. like, I think anything like you not you just call it, anything could help your mental health. Like oh, even yeah. just getting up in, in the morning could it class as it, it, the bare minimum of what you do because everyone's different. It's like if you suffer with mental health everyone's expectations of, of exercise and stuff are different. Like, I know when I was in a bad place, my daily, like, like goal was to at least get out, get out of bed once, even if it was just in my bedroom. Mm. Yeah. And that would be my day, my goal. So I'd class that as my exercise for the day because I've got up. And that's more than I would want to do. So I think starting from the beginning and working your way towards more and more, and like like step counters and stuff like that can help setting goals yeah. and um setting goals for if you like if you're overweight and you want to lose weight setting goals for losing weight i think that could help just small steps so i think they're the key i know that helped me and like I, I now go for walks well i try to go for walks once or twice a week and that's more than i ever did before mm -hmm. i think i used to just walk um, up and down the stairs. That's that's what I struggle with. Like, I'm so unhealthy. I struggle to go up, walk up the stairs at the moment. Mm. But I think that's the that's the way you got to start with, and you got to keep pushing yourself and do it more and more until you can find it easier to and it and it you to see that you've conquered that. When at the end, I think that will help your mental health quite a lot to see that you can you can reflect on how far you've come from yeah. where you've started. Definitely. Thank you. I downloaded one of those step counters like 2019 and it shows me like today, this time last year you did this, but this time last year you've done 10,000, currently you've done 12. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. One of them was 27,000 and I was like, I do not know where I was walking, but that was not to the fridge and toilet. <laughs> <laughs> never. Mm. And it's the whole thing, like, that lockdown literally turned me into, like, you know, those big baby people from Wally, where they're just in the chair, floating around. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's, what that, that's what that lockdown did to me. <laughs> and I made it up the stairs here. I'm here now. Yeah. Well, well, that's an achievement. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Slowly pushing. So, so yeah. I'm trying to think. What else? Other, like, what other exercise? Would you say you do other than walking? Because mine's just walking well, and riding my bike. There's a lot that you could do walking, speed walking, mm. cycling, swimming. Some people like to go to the gym to do yeah, other gym. things. What else is there? There's, there's all sorts. Mm. The most intense exercise I do is running for the bus right now. <laughs> <laughs> I used to go to the gym before lockdown, but obviously. Lockdown and obviously as well money yeah. is a big issue as well. But now that things are lifting up again, I'm starting to go out more and stuff. So it's a bit easier to to exercise more because you can choose like, oh, I'm gonna walk to here and then get the bus, or I'm gonna just walk yeah. all together. So I feel like during lockdown though, that was like the main time where everyone. I'm sort of struggling a little because yeah. obviously everything closed, people couldn't go to the gym. Those who went to the gym to take their mind off things, they couldn't access the gym. Obviously, Boris had said that you were limited to like how many times you could go for a walk and where you were allowed to go, and even being able to go with people because people think being able to go and walk with people are easier, yeah, like a lot. Uh, having that company on that walk, yeah, we're helping others. Whereas during lockdown, obviously, you weren't allowed to do that mm. unless they were from your household. I, it's kind of like you lost that support in yeah. Definitely. Mm. In lockdown, I was terrified of COVID. Yeah. Like, I literally didn't leave my house for two weeks. Do you remember how I was literally terrified? I would not go anywhere. <laughs> so, that having that in mind that I literally didn't do any exercise, even inside, being inside and like feeling restricted as well, didn't motivate me to do any exercise either. Yeah. So it was just a bad cycle. Mm, that's crazy. I had something on my mind, but it floated away. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mm, I love it, I forgot the other. That was a good thing as well. Um, Look at that. Which is our next. Oh, topic. go on. Nice transition. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> go on. So, what is mindfulness? I don't know. Time to educate me. <laughs> Find out a definition of it. Yeah, let's get a definition of some work from there. A few moments later. It says mindfulness is a mental state achieved by focusing one's awareness on the present moment. Yeah. By calmly acknowledging and accepting your feelings, thoughts, sensations, bodily sensations. Um, and it's used as a therapeutic technique. Yeah, I know. I used to get taught to use mindfulness quite a lot when I was struggling. Mm. So it's it, like when, because when I struggle, I kind of come out of reality and I'm, I'm focused on what I want to do. Like back then, it was negative stuff. And like my people like staff that used to come to me and be like you need to sit down, think, just go breathe and just bring yourself back to reality mm. and just focus on what you're doing now and now what you can see, what you can touch. And that's what that's what it was about, it's about coming back and keeping yourself like stable in your head. Um but yeah. Mm. I think it's very. I think it's very good, but not used as much as people don't know enough about it. I don't think it's used like there's an app called Headspace. Yeah. You probably yeah, all heard about it. I, I think that's that. that's a lot of mindfulness on it, and it's it. It gives you some good techniques and how yeah. to like, like for example, like you were saying, sit down, think about like how you're feeling or what you're going through, and think like sort of ways that you can overcome it yeah now. overcome it yeah I think um when I'm kind of reflecting and like pausing I find I usually do that when I'm on the bus because <laughs> I spent a lot of time on the bus like in the last like 10 years going to school going to college and that for me was a time to just like be with myself. Yeah. Um, especially when I didn't have data because I was not listening to any music because I couldn't <laughs> play any music. I literally would like look out the window and just be in a moment and also think in my head like how am I feeling? Um, yeah, stuff like that. You know what? I really do relate to that bus one because mm. something about being on a bus when it's night, it's a nice rainy yeah. day, the bus is loud, so it's just like. I get taken to a whole new place. <laughs> I, I enjoy it. When I finish work, obviously it's dark, so I enjoy just sitting there. And like, sometimes I'll put my music in, mm. but then sometimes I'll just like look out the window and I'll be like, oh, mm. I've never noticed that before because I'm always on my phone. Yeah. Like when I'm on the bus. <laughs> Whereas sure. like, it's nice to just sort of shut off from your phone and actually focus on what's around you. And it's nice. I suppose. Would you say like meditation goes on the mindfulness and stuff like that? Oh, yeah. 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 Have you ever meditated? I had to. When it was my GCSEs, we had, because everyone was so stressed, like we were all stressing that much. So we actually had someone come in and do yoga with us. Oh, and it just sort of, it was like time to just breathe, yeah. do your own little thing, like with some like techniques and. It was just nice to like sort of not focus on your GCSEs and to like have your head somewhere else for like half an hour to an hour. Mm. It was just nice. Mm. So yeah, like meditation and yoga, they're, they're good ones for mindfulness. I feel like I hit a state of meditation like the five minutes just before I've gone to bed. So like I'm tired, I've got the background noise playing and it's kind of like I zone out for five minutes and then I'm unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> and that five minutes of that zoning out, I just know I'm about to sleep and I feel all good. It's like, oh, another day done. <laughs> Time for the next. <laughs> That's what I mean, it relaxes you and it, it, mm. it makes you yeah. feel quite, it brings you back and it makes you positive and see what's going on in your day and mm. it, it allows you to reflect. Yeah. as well on like what's going on around you and how you're feeling and all that so it's i think it's quite important for some reason i, I think people do it without even thinking as well 
Like, obviously, not everyone knows what mindfulness is, but people do do it, but don't know that they're doing it. Mm. Yeah. And I, yeah. I think something that was bad for my mind was, this kind of goes under the healthy eating and stuff. You know, in school, I don't know, I think it was like year six, they forced everyone in our school to weigh themselves, like in oh, front yeah. of everyone. Oh my God, I literally had to go at the end because I knew my BMI was going to be so unhealthy. Mm. <laughs> I just knew, like, oof. So yeah, they didn't really teach much about five a day and stuff like that in school. I don't feel like, I feel like it was kind of like slap on a YouTube video and done. Yeah, I, don't really more, any lessons to do with I think the only time I really did about five a day and stuff was more in primary school yeah. and um, more in primary school oh. and I, they used to show us like the eat well plate where it has the sections yeah. and you used to you used to be told to draw each each um, <laughs> to draw each um, fruit onto different around the plate and uh, all the vegetables and fat and stuff like that. But I think that's the only time that we learn about it. So thank you for listening, guys. We've run out of time. But please tune in to our next episodes. Bye. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta like that little ASMR that you threw in there. It's time. <laughs> <laughs> thank oh you. Stay tuned.